Welcome back. In the previous video, in fact, in the previous two videos, we explained the uh, roulette wheel selection method and we saw Java implementation of it. Now, that method will have a problem and you have probably noticed it. The problem is what happens when we have um, members with very, very high uh, fitness values compared to other members. What happens is those members will cover most of the roulette wheel and the unfortunately for the other chromosomes or for other for the other members because they will cover very small areas they will have much much smaller chances of being selected right if you look at this uh, picture here this guy for example this chromosome happens to cover most of, of the area and therefore he has a much 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 larger chance of being selected than for example this one or this one right so if the best chromosome fitness is 90 percent of all the roulette wheel then other chromosomes will struggle to be selected will have very few chances to be picked up right so random selection what happens here is we first rank the population and then every chromosome receives fitness from its from this ranking what we do is we compute all the fitnesses of all the chromosomes in our population and then we create an array of those fitnesses and we sort the array in ascending order so the lowest fitness will be uh, the first element the second lowest will be the second element and so on and so forth and uh, the chromosomes will have that rank so the worst will have fitness one the second worst will have fitness two and the best will have fitness n which is the number of chromosomes in the population i.e the last element of that sorted array um, now what if we do this then the picture changes from this or the chances changes change from this to this right because as, as you can see now if we use the ordering then chromosomes will have more chances of being selected but again here we would be slightly unfair to the ones with the big fitness and that could actually cause the convergence ie finding the solution to take more time to be slower why because the best chromosomes have a similar chance of being selected to the worst chromosome i hope that makes sense right that's that's the disadvantage of this method just wanted to mention it thanks again next time we'll speak about the steady state method